Uh, the IMPROVE trial is a uh, randomised trial uh, looking at uh, improving outcomes from ruptured abdominal aortic aneurysms. When patients present with ruptured abdominal aortic aneurysms, there's usually a flurry of activity and a very short space of time in which to gain patient consent. You have a life-threatening condition where a major blood vessel has burst in your tummy. You need major surgery and operation on your tummy to repair the blood vessel and try to save your life. There are two methods of doing this operation. The standard method involves cutting open your tummy and replacing the burst blood vessel. The second is a new keyhole technique that involves relining the bleeding blood vessel through the artery in your groin. This requires a special x-ray uh, first and may lead to a slight delay with this treatment. We do not know which treatment is best, so we would like, with your permission, to enter you into a trial where we choose at random which operation you have. The urgency of the situation means that we will discuss in detail what has happened after your op operation. To confirm the diagnosis of rupture and assess whether the aortic anatomy is suitable for endovascular repair, an urgent CT scan is necessary. This trial was designed to show that using endovascular repair where possible would reduce operative mortality to 33% versus a mortality of 47% using open repair with a target recruitment of 600 patients. Aneurysms come in all shapes and sizes and we found that in about two-thirds of patients endovascular repair would be possible and that the aneurysms were very large. Patient presentation also is variable but about half presented with evidence of hemodynamic shock. Indeed, about 6% of patients died before getting to the operating theatre. About 90% of the patients had a proven diagnosis of ruptured aneurysm. A few patients presented with an urgent or symptomatic aneurysm. And 55 patients had a discharge diagnosis unrelated to an aneurysm, even though most of these did have a small asymptomatic aneurysm. Surprisingly, the 30-day mortality was very similar in each group, 35% and 37%. This figure is taken from the print version of the British Medical Journal. It shows at the top the odds ratio for 30-day mortality, which is 0.94, slightly in favour of the endovascular group and then the three pre-planned subgroup analyses for age, sex and Hardman's index. Hardman's index being a validated risk score for ruptured aneurysms. Rather surprisingly, the women did much better with the endovascular strategy compared to men. There were some other clear benefits for the endovascular strategy group too. These patients spent a reduced time in the very expensive intensive care beds. Discharge was quicker. And most of these patients were discharged directly to home. Whereas in contrast, patients in the open repair group, some 23% of them required convalescent care after discharge from hospital. Our early conclusions are discussed in the paper but it will be very important to see whether the endovascular strategy is cost-effective after all patients have been followed up for 12 months.